Aquarius, hi. Uh, this is going to be a reading for September 9th through the 15th. So, let's see. I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then... I'll be pulling a final tip from the universe card for you. So, this is a general reading. It may not apply to all of you. Uh, parts of it may apply, parts of it may not. So, take whatever resonates from it. You know? You know? So, let's see Aquarius. Okay, all right, so uh, the overall energy for this reading, brand new beginning here at stake. Uh, in your recent past, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. It's looking like you built and you built and you built <laughs> in this connection, okay? Uh, there may be also the sense that the person you were building with possibly didn't want to give up their independence here. Uh, you or that person. Kind of like, yeah, I want this. I want this commitment, yeah. But I still want to be single. No, that doesn't work. So, um, let me see. In your r current situation, you get the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Love coming in here. It's making you feel very, very good. And it's coming in with communication. There's lots and lots of communication back and forth in regards to this love offer, starting things off. In your immediate future, um, there's this person here that wants to take action. And what they want to take action on, from what I'm getting so far, now when we clarify things may, may change, but so far, I'm seeing that they want to take action on some offers they have from around all over the place here and that may be a little bit toxic for the connection so let me see let me clarify this nine of pentacles in your recent past because that's the independent energy that i'm getting from that Okay, don't take out my whole uh, table here. Take it easy. It's looking to me like this is the same person from the past. It's coming up with the exact same cards as your immediate future here. So this person uh, has other options here. And they had other, other options in the past. And I feel like they wanted to act on that because... Not because... It's not looking like this person got together with you and then started cheating and then doing this and that. This person has always been like that. It's a little bit of a commitment phobe here that you're dealing with. This may be a Leo. Uh, however, this person... You agree, right? I know. Uh, this person wants to keep their options open. That's the problem here. You know, they do want this commitment very, very much so. I mean, this looks like a marriage card. So they are seeing themselves even possibly married to you. However, they still want to keep their options open. So uh, that could be you, that could be them. 
also so you know take it as it resonates let me clarify this four of wands This is so redundant. This person that you're dealing with is so much back and forth. They're, they they left this connection behind them so that they can move forward, you know, towards a stable connection. Another one from what I'm getting. And again, it's coming back to the same story. They, they, hmm. they wanted to commit to this very much so. They saw this as a potential future marriage, even for them. However, they walked away because it may have been too intense for them and they got scared and they wanted something more easy, something, you know, there are those connections out there where people are like, yeah, I'm going to settle for this one. You know, I'm not really happy, but there's stability here. There's this, there's that. So I'll just go for the this one because it's easier. So that's how it kind of feels like. Or they just went some other place, you know, with somebody else. And I don't know, there's, there's a lot of, uh, I don't like this energy, to be completely honest. I don't know if that's you or the other person you know better, but it's there's a lot of self-deception in it. There's a lot of I want this, but I because deep down they do want this, you know, with you. On the surface, they're doing everything to contradict what they really want inside. It's somebody that's really, really not aligned. You know at all so let's see let's see this knight of cups in your current energy the way I'm seeing it is kind of like this person is asking for stability and they're not ready to provide it themselves they just want it but they're not ready to give it back a little selfish I must say you can hate me, you can, I, this is what's coming up for me, so. You can hate me all you want, but you or your person are a little selfish here. Whoever's doing that. Oh, there you go. So in your current energy, it's looking like now they want equal give and take. All right. Now they're coming in as the strong, determined person that's ready to offer commitment. And uh, I feel like they're 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 kind of trying out the field with you. They they they're bringing you this love, and uh, because you've had the experience that you had with this person, you don't really trust them, which is you know kind of normal. So they're waiting to see what you're gonna do now. It's kind of like the ball is in your court now. Let me see this uh, seven of cups here in your immediate future. There's still going to be a little bit of conflict f for you in your immediate future. Uh, it's, oh my God. What I'm getting from this combo of cards here, the way they're coming up right now, uh, it's kind of looking like this person is trying, is really trying to give up, you know, their old ways. This person may have been a player. And now it's kind of like an addiction to them. And now they're trying to not be a player anymore. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of relapse here for this person. Uh, and it is going to create conflict in between you two. 
because they are showing you this perfect version of themselves currently where it's like yeah this person changed so i feel like you're gonna go with it you know you're you're, you're gonna give it another chance here and with the devil card coming up right next to this combo of, I feel like that's a little bit of an addiction for this person. So they need to take care of that for this to work out. All right. Because, uh, yeah, they're trying, they're doing their best. But if it's an addiction for them to stay open to every other possibility out there and not be fully committed here. There, that may be a problem for you. So, you know, let me see this devil card. Yeah, they are trying. They are trying to put this behind them. So they have here uh, the four of wands, the knight of swords and the seven of swords. I'm kind of getting this person has a uh, little bit of a distorted... Um, image of what a connection should be like what a marriage should be like and it's not good for them and they know it and i feel like they're trying to put it behind them now this could be you this could be your partner so you you know better but whoever this is they're really trying to put that uh a whole concept of what they think a connection should be they're trying to put that behind because they see that it's not helping them that it's not healthy for them in the first place and then for you too because this person cares a lot about you so they're they're trying to change this for themselves but also for you so let me pull up a final tip from the universe card for you Yeah, so um, when this offer from them is going to come in, uh, you're you, even though you're in your Empress power here, you feel, you feel like you got it, you got it all together, you'll feel confused because the way I'm seeing it in the reading, it kind of makes sense because this person is coming up to you as a completely different person, like they changed, but with the relapse here coming up, uh, I feel like they're, they're kind of going to try it again. Uh, in the near future and that's going to confuse the hell out of you because this person seems like they changed they they you know they they did a lot to change this but they, they they're still working on it so that's the part that confuses you you know them coming in and then uh trying to do what they did in the past you know to keep their options open and you're done with that game but just so you know, this is an issue for them that they're trying to work on. So that's really up to you what you do at this point. Um, you know, stand by their side while they're doing this or, you know, have them go take care of it and then come back to you. Or I don't know, either, either way you want to deal with this, this is what's happening. This is what the cards are showing. So uh, this is what I have for you and I'll see you next time. Bye.